Hey everyone, I'm Brody, and today I'm excited to share with you a little story about Wokako. Wokako, back in 2013, they set out to reinvent the way that we brew espresso by hand, from the mini presso to the nano presso. And today, we finally have the Pico Presso. It is the most compact, pro-oriented espresso brewer of their entire lineup. And I am going to walk you through how to make a double espresso with this barista quality espresso maker and some of the tips that I've come up with while brewing with them over the last few months. And I love how compact it is. It's something that I've always had trouble with trying to make espresso at home, especially something that I can bring with me on my travels from the carry-on bag to the coffee farm and everywhere in between. As you can see, I kind of messed up my hand hiking the other day, but I got a good coffee with the Pico Presso. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna break down the different components of the Pico Presso. So we take the cap off and inside we've got these beautiful components. This is actually the tamper. It's super compact, very ergonomic, and the funnel. And I'll show you how those work in just a second. Now we've got the chamber here. We'll take this off. This is really handy for after we've brewed our espresso. And then we've got the portafilter here. There's a few components. This is the shower head. So that actually comes right apart. And this is the beautiful naked portafilter. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment as well. Take this all apart. It's very compact. So you're gonna need a few things to make a double espresso at home or on the go, wherever you are. Number one, a kettle. You're gonna need to have boiling hot water. Um, and we're actually going to preheat this chamber with that boiling water. You'll need filtered water as well to get the best results for your, for your coffee. You'll need a, a hand grinder or, or any sort of burr grinder where you can change the grind size because we're gonna be grinding with very fine grind for espresso. And then, um, of course, coffee. I'd like to use a specialty grade coffee. Um, and I've found that the roast profile, slightly more developed, not too dark, but also not too light, really works well with, with brewing an espresso to get great texture and you know, well-balanced complexity in the cup. Then we'll be using a scale as well because I'm gonna show you the ratio that I prefer to use with the Pico Presso, but you can play around um, how you like. So first thing, let's get some water in here because we're gonna preheat the chamber while we grind up some coffee. So grab your grinder, you have this here, tear, and I'm gonna put in 18 grams of coffee because I find that that is the ideal dose for the Pico Presso, but again, play around. So we've got 18 grams, this is ready to go. And I've already found my grind size, so I know that when I grind this through, it is going to be ground perfectly for espresso. So that is ready to go. Put that aside for now because what I want to do is actually preheat the cup. I'm going to put this cap on because sometimes water can go everywhere. And so I'm preheating the chamber and the cup at the same time. Just give it a few pumps through here. I think that should be enough because we want this thing as hot as we can get it. So now that we have both preheated, we are going to measure up our coffee one more time, just in case. So we'll put the portafilter on here, and this is where the funnel comes in. So the funnel goes right over top. We're gonna tear that up. And since I measured 18 grams, it should come out to be 18 grams again. Perfect. So now we've got that in there. And what I like to use is this small little tool. This is a distributor sort of mixes up any clumping that we have from this espresso grind to make sure we don't get any channeling and everything is even in here. So that is all mixed up. And we're gonna use this ergonomic tamper here, which is very easy to get an even tamp every single time. You don't have to worry about how much pressure you're putting because the funnel stops it basically. So we've got our portafilter. This is the 
shower head, which we're going to put right on top. And then we screw that in right below. Should be pretty hot. Let's put our cup on here, tear it again. And we've got boiling hot water essentially. And we'll fill it up to this small notch here. But as I mentioned, I am using 18 grams of coffee in the portafilter and a good ratio that I found, you know, simple one to two, you can play around, but I'm gonna use a one to two ratio. So that means I need 36 milliliters in the cup. So start the timer here. And then I've also found that eight pumps for the pre-infusion works really well. What's nice about this brewer is you can do a quick pre-infusion and then wait. I like to wait about 10 seconds for it to start to drip through and you can actually see with the naked filter. That's what's nice about the, the porta filters. You can see when the drips are starting to come through and you know when to continue your brew. So I'm aiming for 36 mils, as I mentioned, and right now we are pumping through and if you find that it is very hard to press through, then that means that you've ground too fine. And if you find that it is coming through very quickly in a watery mess, then you've ground too coarse and you just have to keep adjusting until you get the perfect espresso. This is why I like to use a coffee that is slightly more on the developed roast side of things because I know that I can get a beautiful texture and a nice crema as well as just a nice flavor for this ratio of coffee, of, of, of espresso. So let's try this out. Super excited. Espresso at home, look at that. Mm. I love it. And what I also like to do is once I take the first sip, I like to use the spoon and mix it up a little bit so I get more complexity in the espresso. I can taste all of the flavors together. And actually changes quite a bit. So over the last few months, testing out the Pico Presso, getting ready for launch, I've been able to make a wide variety of different types of espresso drinks. It's been really, really fun. And I also wanted to let you know that Wokako is soon gonna be launching a whole new lineup of their own accessories from their own grinder, a pressure gauge that actually goes inside this thing, as well as a scale. So you're gonna be brewing like a barista at home in no time. Super excited. Cheers. Mm.